What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equal Espresso and welcome to another Advanced Warfare video here today on my channel. What we got for you guys today is we're going to be going over a screenshot Michael Condry actually tweeted out last night regarding Advanced Warfare and the private match lobby. It looks absolutely awesome, so we got some stuff to go over that we haven't seen before. So before we dissect this and go into it, let's try and aim for 100 likes here on this video. Again, you guys have been continually smashing that, so thank you guys once again for the continued support. As I always say, it really does mean a lot to me. So getting back into the topic here at hand, what about this screenshot is there that's special? Well, there's a couple things, really. First off, riot shields are returning. That's something you can take how you will. I'm not going to say it's great. I'm not going to say it's bad. It's just there. It's whatever for me. I never really had a problem with riot shielders. It did get annoying at times if I were to get killed by them or if they were running around with C4, but since C4 isn't in this game, that's something that I'm looking forward to. So riot shields are back and something I was actually asked a lot on Twitter and throughout various videos in terms of not just this riot shield itself, but the camo in general. That to me, I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on it, is the obsidian steed supply drop variant of the riot shield. Now we've seen this camo multiple times now on multiple guns and obsidian steed seems to be one of those ones that is kind of common, but kind of not at the same time because it is in fact from a supply drop. But for those wondering, I do believe that that is where this camo comes from. After that, we've got the recommended max players for the lobby, which is 18, something that is kind of normal for Call of Duty. Nothing too surprising there. We've seen that in Ghost, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, and previous Call of Duty titles alike. So 18 players in private match is the max for that. Whether or not we're going to be seeing the return of Ground War or the switch over to 9v9 standard game modes, that's something that I've heard rumored around the internet. I can't confirm it or deny it for you guys. And honestly, I have no idea. It's probably just going to be 6v6 again and then 9v9 with Ground War sticking to the traditional roots of Call of Duty. But right now, all we got is 18 is the max level for the private matches. So moving along, I know we're going a little bit fast here, but we're going to keep this rolling for you guys. We have a new prestige icon. Now, I'm pretty sure that this is actually a new icon for a prestige itself, not one of the ranks that you get individually, because every single Call of Duty in the previous titles has had the five star general as the max level rank. Now, I know Sledgehammer is changing a lot about Call of Duty, and I'm looking forward to all of it, but I can't really say that I would expect them to change up the individual ranks in game. That's something that has been there for the previous Call of Duties, every single one alike, so I can't expect that this is going to be any different. I think we might have a brand new prestige emblem here. What prestige exactly it is, that is for time to tell and something that I have no clue on. So I really do think it's cool that we're getting a brand new look at another prestige icon. And then lastly, the last thing that I want to talk to you guys about today is Green Band. Look at that map that is displayed, Green Band Team Death match. That's a brand new map. We have not seen any of that. So that now makes the maps that we know about seven. Those include the brand new map, Green Band, Riot, Retreat, Recovery, Ascend, Defender, and Biolab. Now it also makes it eight if you want to count the Atlas Scourge bonus map included with the special editions of the game. Now while we're at it, why not let's just dissect the entire image as a whole. You see you can select the team similar to how you could in Black Ops 2 private matches. The side nav bar has the start game, game setup, create a class, and operator. Game setup, I'm guessing is going to be where you can set up bots and the combat rating this program create a class is going to be your standard create a class and the operator is going to be where you're going to be able to customize your character instead of having to navigate through multiple different layers of menus like in ghosts the creator operator is going to be right there for you to customize so that's a little bit nice to have just right out there in the open pretty straightforward with it and as for the rest there really isn't anything else so to wrap it all up we have a brand new map a brand new prestige icon and confirmation that the riot shield will be returning in advanced warfare so that's been my time ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching let me just think down in the comment section down below there i'm going to focus this one on the actual prestige icon what prestige do you think this will be in terms of the prestige icon remember there are 15 so it could be any prestige from first prestige all the way up to 15th if you did like the video be sure to leave a like rating down below any shares of your facebook twitter and or MySpace if you like that, always greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for the best of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content. Any new news and information, you guys know exactly where to find it right here up on my channel. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Vinny Cola Espresso. As always, because having a great day, I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. Surprise, motherfucker.